If you've missed Marty Smith's faux hawk, well, you might be in luck. Welcome back to Break Hard, I'm Matt. Driver's silly season is absolutely in full swing right now. We have cup seats up for grabs, we have extending seats up for grabs, who knows what's going on with the truck series right now. Well, the broadcaster's silly season is also in full swing, full force, full effect. They're out here trying to get deals signed with the number of new NASCAR partners coming in, the CW, Prime, as well as TNT. There's a number of options for broadcasters out there, and some of them are trying to cash in, which they absolutely should. But Adam Stern from the Sports Business Journal reported on Friday that Mark Marty Smith has had discussions with both Prime and TNT about joining their team next year for the 10 race segment of the NASCAR Cup Series season that they have to do hosting and play-by-play -play duties alongside his friend Dale Earnhardt Jr. And I think that the fan base is absolutely going to welcome that. Now, sure, there are some knocks against Marty Smith. Some people think that he's a character of a uh, Southern male, this and that, his faux hawk, they don't like it, they think he gets too excited, whatever. I like Marty Smith. I think he's totally fine. I like the fact that he is passionate about motorsports. He has a deep NASCAR knowledge, and he would absolutely be a benefit to have in the booth over somebody that doesn't know NASCAR, and they're just trying to bring them in to put them in front of a camera. Jack Collinsworth, that's a guy that absolutely comes to mind in that situation. There's a reason. He only did one broadcast on uh, NBC, and then they're like, get out of here, because he was terrible. But Marty Smith on the other hand, is actually very good at calling NASCAR. Now, of course, he works for ESPN. He gets embedded in the college football uh, season. He'll be on game day. He'll spend half of his time down in Tuscaloosa with Alabama football. But obviously, this 10-race segment will come before college football season starts. And Marty is a consummate professional. He'll have plenty of time to figure out how to do both NASCAR and college football. But ESPN, of course, everybody's going to get hung up on that. The fact that he works for ESPN, how is he going to work for Prime or TNT or anything like that? ESPN has shown a pretty decent tendency over the last few years to allow their personalities to go work on other platforms, specifically like with streaming partners. So I don't think that there's going to be a conflict there because ESPN doesn't have any motorsports properties outside of Formula One, and they're not putting Marty Smith onto a Formula One broadcast, which would actually probably be electric if they didn't. Get Dan Kapatrick out of here, put Marty Smith on the broadcast, let him just say Silverstone over and over again with his Southern accent. It will drive people absolutely mad on Sky Sports. But Marty coming back should be very fun if he, in fact, does come back. I mean, this is the same guy that told Kurt Busch at Michigan years back that he's the wrong guy to mess with when Kurt was in one of his rage fits. So the guy stands on business, and I think we're all here for that. And if Marty comes back, it is a benefit to not only the booth, to the broadcast, but also to the fans because he brings a lot of life brings a lot of excitement and a lot of knowledge to the sport now other names that adam stern also talked about in this you know broadcaster silly season is he said that jamie mcmurray is a hot commodity right now on the broadcasting marketplace jamie mcmurray of course works for fox sports he called the uh, xfinity series race from portland earlier this year and he did a phenomenal job everybody keeps saying get rid of clint boyer put jamie mcmurray in the booth over in the fox cup side of things and it would be a very stout booth with harvick McMurray and uh, Mike Joy and Fox just absolutely will not do that which is unfortunate because I think Jamie McMurray is probably the best guy they have over there right now. So he, of course, is going to be a hot commodity. Now, does he end up at Fox? Does he move over to NBC? Does he go to one of the streaming partners? Heck, he could end up over at the CW as well. Wherever he ends up at, they're getting a really knowledgeable, really personable, and a really committed guy to, to this broadcasting thing. Jamie McMurray has skyrocketed, at least in my opinion, in terms of a guy that should absolutely be the first choice to join a full-time booth because he's been that good. Does he want to do it on a full-time basis? Uh, who, who knows at this point? But certainly the appeal of Fox only having 14 races or maybe a 10-race schedule or you know the NBC portion might be more appealing to him than doing the full season over on the CW. But Jamie McMurray absolutely deserves to be in one of these booths should he want to do that on a full-time basis. Adam Stern also talks about Adam Alexander, who does appear to be headed towards the CW to be the lead voice for the full season over there with them. And honestly, I think that's a great landing spot for him. I think Adam Alexander does a great job in the Fox booth uh, during their portion of the Xfinity Series schedule because Fox is constantly rotating drivers in to work with him. So it's Adam Alexander every single week. And then some weeks he has Joey Logano and Brad Keselowski. He might have Ryan Blaney in the booth, Daniel Suarez, Ross Chastain, who was actually really good. Um, so... 
you know, hopefully they do manage to, you know, get him over there. And if they build a booth around him, I think that he's only going to get better. He has to carry a lot of the weight uh, on the Fox portion of the broadcast when he does Xfinity. But that's just because he's got these drivers coming in that don't necessarily know how the booth works. Some of them are really good. And then at other times, Adam has to certainly carry. Uh, so I, I think that him, if he does end up at the CW on a full time basis, that is a great spot for him to succeed and potentially be able to move up. I mean, people forget Rick Allen used to be the voice of the truck series on speed, and then he became the lead voice on NBC for the Cup series, at least until next weekend uh, at the Indianapolis, well, Brickyard 400 at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, which will be his likely last race of the season on NBC for the lead Cup broadcast. Lee Diffie will take over after the uh, Olympic break, and then Ray, Rick, Ray, not Ray Allen. Rick Allen would never post a tweet like Ray Allen posted, but Rick Allen will move down and do uh, Xfinity coverage for the rest of the season. Speaking of Rick Allen, where does he end up at as well? Uh, things seem to be up in the air a little bit, at least according to the Sports Business Journal uh, report. He could end up over at one of the streaming platforms. Uh, it seems like Lee Diffie is set to be the uh, future voice of the Cup Series next year, at least on NBC as well. I don't think he makes a move to Fox because obviously Mike Joy is already over there. He, of course, could maybe move down to the Xfinity series on the CW, but that seems like it might be Adam Alexander's spot. So Rick Allen might be in a weird spot right now, a little bit of purgatory, unless he ends up over at one of the streaming platforms, which, again, I don't think would be a bad spot for him to go. Of course, Fox does also have the IndyCar broadcast next year, where they will have to build out a booth for that as well. Hopefully, Kevin Lee takes over one of those spots um, within that Fox booth. But for now, Broadcaster Silly Season is very much in full force, just like Silly Season is for, for both crew chiefs and crew members and drivers alike across all three series. It'll be interesting to see how it all plays out as we approach the 2025 season. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.